let's go back to our ship here. I don't know if that guy's going to keep transmitted, even, transmitting, even though he's no longer in my sphere of influence, but I don't really care all that much. Because now we're going to go back around and we're going to try to land one in this crater because we're, we should still be over it because the way the, the moon is rotating, this is near the north. So this shouldn't be too hard to do. And we're basically on the other side of it. So let's go ahead and detach. We're going to try to keep symmetry on the main thing here. Oh, I forgot to switch to it. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn down our engines. Let's aim ourselves retrograde. We're basically R. Do our landing gear check. Looks good. Let's observe our goo. 16.5. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm actually going to just discard that data. We can We can look at that the science bay anytime we want. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to do the same thing as before, which is when we're actually on the opposite side from this crater, we're going to do our burn. I'm going to speed up time a bit here. That looks good to me. Uh, I, I don't know why I keep switching back to this mode, because I need to see... Periapsis. Need to make sure I am not going to crash into the moon. I wish I could. I wish I could change my view better on this. <laughs> like I can't see because I, I I'm not willing to go anymore. I've got plenty of fuel. I might as well not screw it up by doing that. Um, but I am. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a maneuver node here, right in the center of this crater, this way. So I just so I know which direction to aim. So I don't have to worry about that. Whoa. And we're going to go back into map mode, and we're not facing the sun, so I'm not going to bother doing any data. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's crank up time here. We're slowly turning ourselves around. Now I didn't, you know what I didn't do? I didn't set up an alarm clock for the maneuver node. So now we can now we can just do this and enjoy ourselves. And when we get close enough, it's gonna slow us down to ten times, and it's probably wise that it's doing that anyway. <laughs> there we go. Cruise along. Keep an eye out for another for another arch. I'm not gonna screw up my landing on this one, because the purpose of these guys is to mark out craters, not arches. But that was just so cool. I can't believe that. But here we go over the lip of the crater wall here, and there's our crater. There's Kerbin. I'm gonna slow down time. Are we actually over the crater now? We are. But we can still wait for our maneuver node. There's our alarm. Okay, we don't want to land in one of these big craters. I'm thinking this spot right over here looks pretty good to me. Uh, we got to kill 500 meters per second, which we can do pretty quickly. I think I think aiming for this area right here is perfect. Hopefully, it's not that bad of a slope. These things can, these ships can have some trouble with slopes. Maneuver node is complaining. <laughs> but I'll have to delete that in a second once we uh, get out of. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that maneuver node because we don't care about it anymore. Okay, now let's aim ourselves straight up. I think we're actually heading upward. <laughs> get our landing gear out yeah this should be a uh, should be an actual place you know we should take a goo reading here or a material I keep calling it a goo reading uh, space near the moon yeah it's the same as before when we get low enough though I'm hoping it'll be 
above whatever crater this is. That's what I'm hoping it's going to say. Let's go ahead and speed time up a little bit. It's crazy waiting for this thing. And actually, let's. Uh, we don't care about the delta V anymore. We care about our surface. When we get about a thousand away is when I'm going to start caring. Just getting ourselves aimed straight down here. At least as close as can be reasonable. Okay, we're going to crank up time a bit. Uh, where are we? 3,000. Looking good. Coming down right where we wanted. And we're going to find out if right where we wanted is a good place to come down. We are now 1,500. I better kill a little bit of my speed here. Don't want to come in too hot. Don't want to come in too cold, but don't want to come in too hot. Observe the materials bay here. Space near the moon. I, I kept the data, and I was so busy wor worrying about the data that I wasn't paying attention to the fact that I <laughs> killed my <laughs> descent perfectly. But it looks like no matter what you do, it's you're going to be just in space near the moon, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. We'll just get ourselves going straight. Not that I would use RCS thrusters in this case, but they would they would have come in very handy to uh, get my vertical or my horizontal velocity down to zero. It's coming down. There's my shadow. <laughs> it's so tough to. Eventually, I'll be installing a mod that allows you to set your vertical velocity. Um, I'm a big fan of this mod. Because it stops stuff like that from happening. <laughs> Looks like the place we landed wasn't quite as flat as I was hoping. And I came down a little bit faster than I was hoping. I'm also doing this all with the keyboard and not a proper joystick of any kind. And we're good. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and transmit the data we have here. Might as well, we've got it. And then we'll take a new reading, and that's gonna tell us where we are. We are in Moon's Polar Crater. The fine dust of the moon is intermixed with some of the samples. You have a sneaking suspicion that they'll never be able to get the lab clean again. Well, we don't care about this lab anyway. It's worth 100 or 20, because we're only gonna get 20% of that. Let's go ahead and say send it. And this is Moon's Polar Crater. So we're gonna rename this guy. Polar Crater Lander. We discovered a new biome. Good on us. Okay. Now we're going to leave him. And now I think we need to wait for this crater to come around. So we can send another ship to another crater. Actually, you know what we should do? Let's, uh, let's go right to this guy. Let's go ahead and just get that crater over and done with. Control from here. Uh, detach. Get ourselves going retrograde here. And we're just going to burn to plop ourselves down in this crater right here. And this is going to be a suicide. Burn as soon as I bring this up. I need the stage. <laughs> okay. Suicide burn. Okay, that'll plop us down right there, right on the edge of that crater. Hopefully that's a fairly flat area. Probably not. And I'm probably going to see that. Uh... <laughs> let's, let's get our landing gear out right now. This is, don't try this at home. This is a suicide. 
ish. I'm I'm probably gonna cheat and make it not be suicide, but okay. Let's crank time up. I'm not even gonna quick save. That's how confident I am in my abilities here. We're coming down. There's our other lander. Keep your eye open for that arch. Probably be right about here. And I'm gonna come in low over this wall. I think that arch is like right on the rim of this crater. We're gonna fly over here. I'm actually intentionally slowing down time, and apparently it's not because I think it would have drawn by now. Because I can see a little flashes over here, which implies that it's drawing this stuff. No arch. Yeah, it would have drawn it by now. I don't know where that arch is. Oh well. Uh, my goal here is to land on the other side of this crater, but before we get to that stuff, I think I can uh, safely kill my horizontal velocity here. If I land right in that crater, I'm not going to be too sad. But like I said, I would rather land on the other side of it, so... Looks like I'm going to. Just killing my horizontal velocity here. Pretty good job of it, actually. Oh. And I guess I didn't go over it, but like I said, I won't mind if I go in it. So let's see what it's like in this crater here. How far off the surface are we? Yeah, we're already getting close to a thousand meters off the ground so when we get to about 2500 2600 that's where that's our zero time here and our shadow is going to be over here get pretty close we're also slowing down pretty well she's slowing down too much Looking pretty flat. Also looking kind of dark. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, it landed on its side. <laughs> Oh, well, it's still a perfectly functional lander. I guess we don't need our landing gear. Sadly, these aren't the cool landing gear that could flip you over. Um, I haven't researched those yet. But uh, let's go ahead and observe our materials bay. Uh, East crater, the fine dust of the moon intermixed with some of the samples, blah, 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 blah. Let's go, it's a moon's east crater. So this is, I'm going to rename this guy to East Crater lander. Make him a lander. Say okay. Uh, his resources are kind of hard to come by here. Um, yeah, he's not going to be getting a lot of sunlight. <laughs> I am considering the possibility of trying to write him. Uh, I have to aim down on my nav ball. See, I can't even wrote. I can't even roll him. I have to aim down on my nav ball while I fire the thrusters. Oh, I just killed him. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see, what can I... Oh, my engine. The engine and the uh, thing are still going. That is pretty hilarious. Oh, and there goes my solar panel. And now it has, yeah, so two solar panels and the thing. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and switch to our Highlands. Oh, we can't. Oh, let's go ahead and stop throttling up. Let's go ahead and switch to this guy now. Let's see if he's done transmitting. I'm curious if he transmits while he's not. Nope, he's, he still needs to transmit. So you, in order to transmit your data, you have to stay on the, uh, the machine that you're on. No big deal. Okay, well, we got two more guys to land here. 
And I actually would like to land another one in there, which is kind of amusing. <laughs> so we've brought five landers with us. One of them has made it to the crater he, we wanted him to go to and survived. Okay, we're going to crank up time here. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to be smart about this. We're going to switch to this guy. I don't know why I didn't think about doing this before. We're going to switch to him. We're going to go to... Uh, yeah, we're at zero. We've only uploaded 7% of our data. But we're going to... Our goal is to get this crater. So what we care about is this guy. We're going to set him as target so we get a nice green thing here. And we're going to crank time up. Uh, let's see, one more orbit maybe? Yeah, maybe at least one more, maybe two more. Yeah, I think this orbit is the one we'll stop on. And he's on the other side of the moon from this thing. Uh, it's pretty much perfect, okay. Now it's nighttime for him, so he's not sending anything else. Let's go ahead and switch to him. And we're going to disconnect. Uh, we still got sun, which is nice. This is actually a really awesome orbit for this sort of thing. We're going to set you as our... Oh, I took the top the f top one off. Why did I do that? That was supposed to be the last one I disconnected. This thing's going to be impossible to control now. <laughs> I'm a moron. You know what? I almost... Well, no, I don't want to waste it. Uh, I'll just leave this thing in orbit, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and control from here and decouple. I can't believe I did that. The whole purpose of this was to, was to use this guy last. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and get ourselves aimed retrograde. And if you're, if you do a mission like this, uh, it's very important that you make sure you're not, when you aim yourself retrograde, you're not aimed back at the ship. Um... That you were that you were at before, because you will destroy that ship. You will plow yourself right into it. <laughs> I, I I say this as someone who has done it before. Um, okay, so this huge crater, we are going to set moon as our target. We're going to look out like this, and we're going to bring up our nav ball so we can see what's going on. And we're going to burn. And we're going to burn more. We're going to watch the wall of that crater. That looks pretty good. That is, that is hugging the edge here. I'm going to F5 to save. I'm going to make a maneuver node here so we know which way to aim ourselves. We're going to aim at that maneuver node. Whoa. There we go. Now we're going to... Actually, let's go ahead and kill that maneuver node now. Actually, you know what? Let's add it as an alarm. Then delete it. And you know what we're going to do now? Oh, look at this. See, the, the northern part of the moon is all crazy bumpy. The north pole is. Uh, let's actually get ourselves turned this way. Hi. Hey, I always grab this thing. Bring up our resources. Why not? Uh, we're heading kind of this way-ish, so let's go ahead and speed up time here and enjoy the show. Now the game is slowing us down. Whoa, here's the crater that our other ship was in. <laughs> yeah, there are mountains on Moon that are, that are more than... Uh, 5,000 meters. There are mountains that are more than 6,000 meters. Um, I've hit a couple of them. <laughs> so this is this this is kind of a touchy thing. You can you can really screw up your ship by uh, skimming the surface too closely. But it looks so cool. And we're nearing our maneuver. No oh, we're not nearing our maneuver. We're low enough that that is hilarious. Yeah, we're only 30 seconds away, so we must be over that crater that we care about. Yeah, we are.
But I think the other side of this wall here is going to be perfect. Yeah, I'm just going to delete this alarm. We are over the crater, right? We just got over the crater. I'm going to go a little bit further. I'm going to go I'm going to go for something over here probably. I don't want to jump the gun. Unless we see another uh, arch. <laughs> Okay, let's crank up time a little bit. Let's find a nice place to land here. Oh, I can't crank up time. I can physics warp. Yeah, I think this this right here is perfect between all these craters. As soon as I see this crater coming, I'm going to... Perfect. Hopefully this is a nice flat area. And there goes my horizontal velocity. Not, not as well as I had thought before. Yeah, I, I had the darndest time landing for the longest time until I realized the most important thing about landing is ignore the way your craft looks on the, the screen. Um, do not turn your craft on the screen. I should probably put my landing gear down. That's the other thing I learned about landing, is put your landing gear down. Uh, do not turn your craft on the screen. Turn your craft on the nav ball. The only thing you use the screen for is looking for that shadow. right next to this rock here. There's our shadow. Pinpoint landing next to the rock. You, sir, are a good craft. Okay, we're going to observe the Materials Bay to find out where we are. We are in the Northwest Crater. You leave a sample bay doors open and go do something else for a while. There's not much else we can do because we're a robot. Uh, so this is the Northwest Crater. So let's go ahead and rename. Northwest Crater Lander. And he's transmitting his data. We can come back to him later. Um, I think the next crater to land in is probably going to be this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's going to take a while. So we might as well set this as our target. And crank up time. You know what we should do? We should take like 10 observations. Say transmit, observe, <laughs> transmit. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to do this 10 times. Okay, I've done it 10 times. That way it has something to do while I'm fast forwarding here. Waiting for this crater to come around. Okay, let's not get too crazy. Okay. Okay, this this orbit, I think I might have gone too far, but I don't think so. Uh, he needs to get right around here. And I'm going to try my darndest to crash the whole ship. Oh, I'm like, why didn't I switch to the ship I wanted to? Because <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> yeah, not enough electric charge because it, the sun's set on that guy. Um, okay, we are going to... Figure out which way we're aimed right now. Uh, we are heading this way. So I need to do this. There is no way I'm ever going to be able to control this ship enough. Yeah, I think I need to aim it. Oh, that's down. I need to aim it at this marker. 
<laughs> it has a reaction wheel. So in theory, it can hold itself a little bit. Actually, that's not what I want to aim at, though. I want to aim it this way-ish. Am I not controlling it from here? There's no other brain on this thing. Control from here. What? Oh, I can... Can I control it from something else? No? I can't control it from here. What the hell was controlling this thing before? I should have just left it the way it was. Um... Okay, well, that's as close as I'm going to get here. I'm going to burn... So let's do a burn and see what happens. Okay. I still feel like I should be going this way. Oh, that's what it is. I need it. I need to put the two yellow markers in between it like that. Yeah, controlling these things from the side is nuts. Okay. I have to bring this up, otherwise I can't control it. Let's give it a little bit of thrust. Get our periapsis down where it's at zero. That's all I care about. Just enough so I don't have to worry about this thing. Okay. Now, let's decouple. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, let's get you aimed retrograde. Landing gear test. Okay. And now he actually doesn't want to re aim retrograde. He wants to aim prograde a little bit. Oh, I never did my staging. And then I did do my staging, and the engine was on. <laughs> so, yeah, we got landers all over the moon. Let's bring ourselves down. This might be an interesting crater, because it looks like it has a pretty thick, a pretty high wall there. But I think we're safe to do that. Oh, wait, let's do our maneuver node. Just to get our bearings, let's go ahead and add an alarm for that. Okay, that's the way we're going to want to aim when the time comes to burn. So let's kill that maneuver node. And for the last time, let's turn this off and cruise around the moon. Our last hurrah. Crazy looking craters. Oh, <laughs> we're too close to the surface for full time warp here. Coming in, coming in tight. I have faith in my orbital mechanics. Cruising along over the rim wall here of this crater. And now we're over the crater proper. Or are we? Yes. Okay, how are we doing? Yeah, we have we have cleared the wall of the crater. Now it's just get to our periapsis. Or find a nice spot to land, like right there. Yeah, what the hell. Pretty good spot to me. Oh, too much. Correctable, but too much. And by now, my uh, my other stage has crashed somewhere into the moon. 
as it was intended to do. Losing some fuel, but what are you going to do? Working nice. Nothing really to see all that much. Kerbin is not in the sky anywhere. So we're on the far side of the moon. Nope, <laughs> we can't speed up anymore. We're coming down fairly fast, though. We've got... Uh, we've got oh, we're going to hit right at about 2,000, which is convenient. So at about 2,500, I'm going to crank up the... Uh, I'm going to crank up the thrust. I got scared. <laughs> yeah, the the ideal fuel saving landing is so contrary to common sense. That it's actually like hard to not uh Give yourself too much. Okay, there's my shadow. Looks like a little bit of a... little bit of a... Uh, slope to the surface. We got enough fuel we can try a couple times here. Don't panic. That's the key is to not panic. This looks better. There we go. We have landed on a fairly flat surface. Right next to a rock, which is always nice. Actually, in a field of rocks. Although I don't think this rock is going to be here if we come back. Go ahead and find out where we are. This is going to be like the far side. Yeah, far side crater. Look at that. <laughs> um, somehow we're going to be able to transmit this data. And we're going to rename our vessel. Uh, far side crater lander. As opposed to just the far side. Uh, so let's make him a lander and that's it. That's all we can do is observe and transmit, observe and transmit. Um, and I'm going to do this a little bit off camera just to get uh, some science. And then, uh, we're going to go back and plan our next mission. So, uh, tell you what, I will meet you back at the, uh, at the space center. Okay. We're back. Um, we can't actually, I don't know why I just clicked on the space center because there's nothing we can find out from here because there's nothing to recover. So instead, let's do the smart thing and go to the science center. And I have no idea how much science we started with. We don't have anything to recover. So I don't, I, we don't get that cool. Like, Hey, you recovered this. But, um, as I have said before, um, the most important thing to me is scanning for cathane. So this is what I'm buying. And I'm just going to buy it right now, assuming it lets me. And it did. Uh, it opens up the big cathane scanner, which I don't really care about. Um, this one is this one is perfectly fine. Um, this one scans every, uh, what is it, 0.9 seconds. This one scans every point, whatever, uh, 1.5 seconds. So this one actually scans faster. So this one's a better scanner than the other one. Um, it, it scans quicker. Um, and our next goal is to uh, send one of these up to the moon and uh, start scanning for cathane to see uh, to see where the deposits are. Um, that is what we'll do next. Uh, and when we do that, uh, I'm going to be Fifth Horseman. <laughs> I'm totally screwing up my outro, but screw it. Uh, I'm tired. This was a long mission. Uh, I am Fifth Horseman, and I will, as always, talk at you later.